they were like, I'm gonna try playing Steve. And now it's, what, six months later since yeah. Collision? And there it is, so just playing Steve and making and making moves with him, you know? And that's the, that's the power that Steve has. And now we gotta see another powerhouse uh, kind of deal with why do Steve Numbers, 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 Mr. Jonathan Numbers. Yeah, very different matchup because you have a lot less ability to just ensure your combos are landing. Yep. Here. Rob, it's very big. Yep. So you have the ability just to kind of throw out buttons, and some of them will just connect because Rob you just falls have, into it. Yeah, just, <laughs> just falls into it. Just goes into it. But numbers can uh, profit off of these hurtbox shifting, profit off of this ledge play, and profit off of. Just hanging around. You get mm -hmm. to heal for 2% of the time. And as, as little as that is, that is, in theory, a punish for a Steve taking their time to build materials. Mm -hmm. I'm, you're, you're completely right, and the thing with Numbers is just that he's a powerhouse when it comes to these weird, funky little matchups. Uh, I think we had a Steve like last Xeno, uh, and, and I, I think I guess Numbers, and did just fine against them, if I recall correctly. And then the thing with Numbers also is that we fit is just... She's skinnier, you know? You mean, She's uh, skinnier. When Numbers fought Jules at yes. Saga? Yeah, Numbers saga, smoked, yeah. smoked her. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was right. It was a Saga, sorry. And there we go. A, a, an example of what Numbers is doing is, is a Lily matchup check. <laughs> yes. It's so much so that with the, uh, with the understanding that you can have of Steve, it can really transform the game plan. But if you have an understanding of the character, it doesn't mean you have an understanding of the player because why do you getting a really solid role read just to keep the game relatively even and with diamond tools on deck? Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Like... <laughs> It's not funny. Look me in the eye, and then they did. <laughs> it's, not, it's not funny, but it's funny. <laughs> I I would get so no biggest biggest advice is just don't go behind numbers and sh like, on shield, please. Oh, yeah. No, like don't cross up, don't even stand behind her. They're just we fit is scary. We fit has an extremely mediocre standing grab, so mm -hmm. crossing up to be in front of we fit trainer is oftentimes a little bit better than, behind. in fact, way better than behind. Yeah. Though getting caught trying to be aggressive, that immediate block into anvil. Setting up a little bit of a stairway there. Gold tools, which will improve Steve's already massive frame data. Wow, just oh, but yeah, misses just, the block though, putting him in a really tough spot actually. Numbers does not really really care about a lot of the of the, like up the obstacles that Waidu is playing or just making on the field. Numbers kind of will literally sit there and stand and just watch you and do deep breathing, get some a really good buff going for himself. Uh, will charge up Sun Sal to the biggest degree ever, and also. We saw Numbers as tech, you know? Numbers has great tech, Numbers is good at mashing. There's a lot of things that Steve players typically try to try to go for, like, are you good at mashing? Are you good at teching? Are you good at, you know, getting reads in? Oh, they missed the block. That combo could have gone for at least 90, could have gone to at least 90, but instead, why do just sitting with Diamond Tools instead in a mm -hmm. relatively even game, that dash attack into the corner, because at that time throwing out a forward smash, trying to see if they can catch a landing, using nice. B-Reverse Cartless in order to try and uh, feign some directions. It's those little things, right? Like B-Reversing Wario without his bike just to make sure you can get different air drift. Like it's those little yep. interactions that can really transform a character. In, uh, transform a player into knowing like how to utilize it, though burning that last iron block does suck. And we have a little bit back, but is it, it's not really enough uh, to feasibly fight someone against like numbers. Why do, however, keeping this even as much as they can, again, we, we, I will mention once more, we are going back onto small battlefield, and thankfully both of goodbye. Thankfully both characters, or both players, Dill and Numbers, know that this is probably the most even game they can get in regards to Steve's mining capabilities against someone yes. like we fit, like Rob, who can't really do any of that, you know? Wow, that was so brazen. Just up air, straight from the... Straight from the ledge. Like, I'm gonna just throw my frame dead in your face, and you have to deal wow. with that. Wow. Funny wind boxes, haha. -ha. No pickaxe, though. This is a, a actually a huge detriment, but why do you just gonna be playing it out without that? An axe in his bare hands and, and the sword as well. Oh and that sword my does goodness. It. That sword does it in, in spades. Diamond forward smash. What did that kill at? What did that take the stock at? When did he. When did numbers lose his 60. life? 60. 60? 58? After, uh, 58 before the hit? Mm hmm. Like numbers really neutral got up. Like, uh, 
I, I don't hate it, right? Because there was some theory going around, and uh, thank you, Twitter. Um, oh, really? So there was some theory going around that, like, a lot of Steve's block-based ledge trapping, uh, you can beat by just neutral getting into it because it destroys the blocks. Yep. And you can especially cover a lot of space, uh, cover a lot of those same ledge traps with neutral get up into spot dodge. It co it beats out a lot of the default timings for some of Steve's default ledge trapping. Mm -hmm. You know what it loses to? Forward smash. <laughs> <laughs> And the fact that YD is like, you're gonna neutral get up. Because those numbers, that's also one of numbers' biggest habits. He does typically neutral, neutral get up more often than not in order to go for like an F tilt, you know? Right. Uh, and if YD was able to recognize that and be like, you're, my, you might neutral get up. Because if you roll, I'm at the perfect distance for roll. And if you, uh, if you jump, well, I'm gonna possibly use up smash and scoop into the into the hitbox yeah, of it, like you know. Stock too. So it's like you're you're almost trapped into doing neutral get up, which is what numbers used to anyway. And it, once again, forward smash. This yep. forward smash. Boom. Boom. It's uh, and the walking up totes as well, converting that into a huge 61, taking the leap back immediately, and with only stone tools. The only thing we really haven't seen from Why Do Steve is some of the a more weirder ledge traps, like the block onto, like anvil on a block kind of stuff. Yes. As well as uh, nil finishers. We've seen nils, but we haven't seen them incorporated into combos quite yet, which is uh, terrifying because he's all he has. Uh, I don't think they've dropped the game today. <laughs> I do not recall. I, we, yeah. So far, as as far as we can see on our on our on our tablet, they have not dropped the game, and they have been in, you know, of course, on winners clearly, uh, the entire time. Wow. Wow. Okay. Oh, but not able to combo into anything because of the rage. Uh, John not able to get so much damage that the opportunity to provide only 20%. And the blocks eat alive Sun Salutations. The only thing that damages blocks from range for numbers is the is the volleyball. Ooh, good mm. get up attack. Gotta get away from that down smash. And only wood tool still for Waidu, who has been burning a lot of resources in, in an attempt to try and even up this game. Finally deciding, oh, I thought they were deciding to take a like take a chill pill, but apparently, uh, no, that is not the case. <laughs> yeah, no, this is this is the issue with Steve. You have to be so good at multitasking and actually using your resources as well as knowing how many resources you have at hand. Because now, um, now alongside the, the three iron blocks we get off of uh, respawn, they were at they had nothing to them. About three times they tried going for down air, and there was absolutely nothing. Steve was staying on air for a little bit there, Solid. and that's the biggest issue. You know, you have to be really resourceful and knowing what to do and unfortunately numbers is going to keep pressuring 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 why do in order to stuff out or, or stop those um those opportunities for mining for mining solid sdi though gets numbers mm -hmm. out of that potentially uh looping fair combo i do like these walls that why has been putting like directly on ledge it's basically forced numbers to do uh to forego sun salutations to dissuade why do from doing anything mm -hmm. instead though numbers has gone high and has been putting on the jets just rushing steve down and getting the kill off the top with that rising forward air and that is the type of game plan that you can catch steve off guard when they have those limited resources go for uh, just get in their face rush them down abuse the fact that minecart isn't as much of a threat when they are uh, when they're having to do it deep in the blast zone or when they don't have gold online and you're completely right. It's just this whole game. Why do was just lacking the resources, and Numbers was aware of this and just kept pushing and being the aggravator most of the time. These yeah. dash attack and, and these dash attack into, into you know grab or, or I'm sorry, not dash attack, but <laughs> dashing into grab. It's just it, it works beautifully for him. You, you keep Steve off ledge, can't really recover with any blocks because guess what? You're limited on blocks. You don't have anvil, and now we're going to the stage where uh, you're getting iron at a much faster rate than um, those those we saw beforehand. Yeah, that, that little outer ring, that is pure iron. Yep. So you're able to get a get a real get a real good amount of uh, amount of metal going on and metal is the difference maker with Steve's kit. Diamond may be uh, committing crimes, but <laughs> Iron is the most flexible part of Steve's yes. kit, and if you're able to get a whole bunch of that iron sto stocked up, like Waidu is doing right now, that means you're. I mean, the, there's not even. There's there, not even a line dividing each that? block. What? <laughs> uh, okay, we're just gonna kind of ignore the Waidu puts up two blocks, numbers destroys bottom one, all the way across the stage. We're just gonna ignore that <laughs> and, and go right back to the neutral. Seeing, oh, never mind. We're not ignoring it. Good old production. Yep. There it is. <laughs> look, look at this. I can't. <laughs> Numbers is great, bro. It's it's one of the best things, I guess, about Steve is that 
for some, there's almost like a sense of inevitability with some of their setups and some of their game plans. Like, eventually, you're you're going to find a minecart. You're going to find a diamond back there. Like, these moves aren't necessarily difficult to land. Or limited in, or, in any capacity. Uh, yeah, especially you know? given the dim uh, diamond's uh, durability is through the, through the roof. Ooh. Unable to power through some of those blocks, though. Numbers doing a good job of just outspacing Steve in this matchup, though. On a stage like this, you have to play a very, very strict mid-range game, and Numbers is sticking to that in turn. The roll, oh, the roll gets no. scouted. I know what Numbers is going for. Like, was trying to go for it, you know, her fast uh, forward tilt. But why do you kind of have the kind of had download on Numbers in that in that space? And now 41% already off of the second stock that Numbers has. Unfortunately, now a header coming in clutch, getting a little bit more damage off of. Uh, off of why do but I uh stone blocks kind of eating through that sun style you know and saving weather for a little bit longer stone and, and it's even better part of going to an all stone stage is that while you will have overall less blocks to work with the blocks you get are strong it's, mm -hmm. it's just like that deep breathing dash attack finally closing out the stock and forcing very nice shield grab a stale wooden up tilt can be shield grabbable and three of them on that block yeah Good luck, good luck trying to escape from a wee bit in that case. Though. Yeah, I know, absolutely. Yeah, the upgraded tools are certainly going to help with that. Right. And like we were saying, uh, but, uh, once again, the stage is like gift, gifts to Steve it's is incredible. It's just gifts. Yeah, I have not seen a single wood. It's just been hard materials the entire time. It's e it's they're almost indestructible. Even even soccer ball couldn't uh, hit that block or break that block easily. And now we have extra minecart uh, resources for more minecart shenanigans. But no anvil, unfortunately, in that moment. We're making a, a wooden wall here, wooden wall, a wall here, and of course having to mine more for some iron because we are running low. Oh, tried to get the back air off of that rebounded soccer ball. I mean, you, when you have that backboard to play with, certainly use it. That deep breathing back air. Numbers trying to go deep there, trying just to force a test or a reaction out of what I do. And they found a couple of them. No iron on deck here, just plenty of gold. Okay, there's a little bit. But one block, how much can you risk that one block if you're Waidu? Oh, you risk everything for that and yeah. uh, for that minecart, absolutely. But it's almost like you don't even worry about it because now we have diamond. This is the third time we've gotten diamond this entire, this entire game. We have reinforced minecart on the disposal, and at any point you can start mining and you start getting more iron at your, at your, you know, your resources. Numbers is gonna be charging up Sun style, and of course we have deep breathing still active. That's a humongous punish, untakeable off of your own wall. How do you feel about that? I mean, it's, it's your own wall. It was, it was killing no matter what. <laughs> yeah, was that, yes. that, that is a that gone death. Steve. Uh, still plenty to play here. And oh, trying to read that again. same roll, but they missed the spacing. They got that so they got that in game one, but they missed it here when it really, really counted. Gonna drop the anvil there that it time. It's still surviving though. It sends it such a uh, sensitive angle that kills great off the top, but not really off of the sides. Mm -hmm. And wow, look at this block count from Waidu right now. Oh, but the nice. read with that forward air, but it doesn't close up the stock. How is biting Waidu in the butt? Yeah, and 150%. That means that numbers is at complete max rage. And this might be scary for Waidu since it's 68%. We have deep breathing on like as well. This is humongous damage that numbers can be doing on Waidu if they could actually get in. Okay. And they're out. And they're out. <laughs> <laughs> Untackable off the block. Still kills off the side. And a down throw into double Stop there. It. Stop Boom. it. Just, just instantaneously, Go, throwing out that force smash, throwing out multiple mm -hmm. bits of iron. You, I, you may not have a ton of resources, but you can farm them mid. Uh, you can farm them while you are in advantage because Numbers likes to take his time, and Weef it's a character that takes their time. So you can get a couple blocks, use them. Get a couple blocks, nice. use them. But don't but better use them before you lose them because that sun salutation is such a huge difference maker to set back to neutral. Why do oh my goodness, but they're off of the platform right there. Now Numbers in a really good position in center stage where Numbers is now in a weird position because no, we don't see Numbers on center stage. Very really nice. We're going to jump in the forward there and does it. Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh, but there catches the neutral get there up. The activity there on that forward tilt. Ridiculous. It is. It's ridiculous. It's I have seen Numbers Ooh. hit people coming up thinking they're safe with a little, a little neutral get up and Numbers is like, if you roll, my back, is, my, my back foot is going to hit you. If you need to get up like right now, my finger is gonna cut you. So yeah, that's it. the only option you had. Jump, and even then, no, it still hits. Even jump. then, not jump. It, it's not, do not jump. Do not jump. Actually, you you shouldn't. <laughs> you only, have roll covered. Option. You have this get up covered, and you have jump. You're 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 dead. Yeah. 
Yeah, the option there uh, for Steve is to drop down points block. But oh, for Steve specifically? Oh, of course. You, you gotta just. Oh, well, yeah, blocks. Steve can be. That's the. the that's the tense. That's the thing you can do as Steve is that like yeah. you have infinite patience on the ledge there. You can drop down, place a block, mine on it for a little bit, and then go. But if we get a look at that final stock again. Uh, one. One block! Yeah, like, like I said, what block? What blocks? You have one, uh, one yeah, block one here. Block. Which, the, in order to stall effectively and not lose resources, Steve needs to place two blocks. He couldn't do it. He just had to wait. Like I said, what blocks? What blocks, Ubu? What blocks? There is no blocks. K blocks. Okay. K blocks. K blocks. K blocks. Very nice. <laughs> Very, very tensely tense game scary. three from Jonathan at Q numbers as we were getting. What's the Q for? What's the Q for? What's the Q for? <laughs>